Hey right guys, Trish Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching reacting to episode 12 of Pretty Little Lies Season 4. Um, I think this is the mid-season finale, it might however be the next episode, because I think there's around 24 episodes a season or something like that, so it's around about the time when a mid-season finale would be happening. I think that is typically 12 or 13, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to tell by how good the episode is and if there's a huge reveal. If there's a huge reveal, it's definitely the mid-season finale because Pretty Little Lies feels the need to do that um, and not any other time in the show. So, yeah, um, last episode was abysmal. I think it was the worst Pretty Little Lies episode to date. Yeah, it was. It was the worst episode so far. Um, it was funny, I guess. But like, <laughs> just to fight, it wasn't meant to be funny. And just, I was talking to people on Twitter and stuff, and even they agreed that that, like, the haystack scene was just the worst moment ever. Like, that was just so bad. Like that, I could bend my belief to a lot of things with Pretty Little Lies, but that was just, no, you're not, you ain't fooling me this time, boy. <laughs> um, so hopefully this episode is just better than that. I, I, I don't see it being worse, to be honest. So. Um, yeah, it's so annoying because season four, I think, started off. I've said this before, but it started off so well, like episodes one or two. Uh, and did have like another good episode or two in there, but it's just been it's just been bad, it's just been bad. Um, so hopefully, 4B is a bit better, or hopefully, like a lot better than 4A has been because 4A has been the lowest point, uh, for Brittle Lies so far. But we'll see how they, they end the um first half if this is the mid season. If not, we'll see how they end it in the next episode, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full uncut reaction to this episode, as well as all the rest of Pretty Little Liars, uh, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. You can get early uploads there as well, and it does help, help support the channel. Uh, there'll also be links to Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me on there. And finally, Discord if you want to join that and talk about uh, Pretty Little Liars with myself and others. Uh, and yeah, if you're interested as well, just make sure you have notifications for the channel turned on so you're the first to know when I upload. If you're not bothered about that stuff, then don't worry about it. And yeah, let's go. go, go, go. What are these going to say then? Go on, let's get this out of the way. If she goes free. If she goes free. You'll hear from me. Kisses. Kisses. A hey, shut the fuck up. That's so just... gets off. Cece's coming for us. I see like you. Uh, don't matter. Don't matter. Parents alone. What I was gonna say in my Mardi self is World War A. Like she. Stop with the dialogue, man. I've just woke up. I've actually just woke up. I don't want to be like this early in the morning. Why do I always put Pretty Little Lies on early in the morning when I'm just getting pissed off at the dialogue? Well, what I was gonna say is why wouldn't Age leave a note saying that? Why is she doing magic eight walls? Okay, Travis, we need a positive ID of the woman you saw leaving the scene before the shots were fired. That one, done. Yeah, of course, I'm glad that I could be there for you. As a friend. Okay, good. Sick. Sick. In a way, you've taken care of Hannah. I don't worry about her as much when she's with you. Oh. I don't know they all appreciate Caleb appreciating Hannah. Oh, you get so much support for being supportive. <laughs> Aaron, you didn't deserve any of this. I don't know what the hell is taking so long. I can't wait any longer. Here they come. <laughs> this is Marin. I'm Sydney Barnes, the district attorney. I just wanted to tell you this myself. We're yeah, right. the charges against you. You're yeah. free to go. Okay, well... Well, that was a sick storyline, wasn't it? That lasted 12 episodes. I'm all saved by I'm that character. That's what I'm saved her. You. If A makes good on her threat, A's a terrorist. That's what she wants, to make us worry. Hey, we can't give in to her. Well, I'd feel better if we knew where Cece was. Because right now, it feels like she's everywhere. Well, we know who to look out for now. Okay, we're so close to putting an end to this game, Paige. I can feel it. No, you're not, Emily. You still have three seasons. You spend the nights at my house. I'll know you're safe and we'll get to be together. Oh, 
You two spoke about how you're going to be breaking up in a matter of months. Like, what? Oh, please. It's for all of us. What happens if we just don't open it? We can't win the game if we don't know what it is. You're never going to win the game, Spencer. Let's just accept that. Oh, my Lord. Where does A get this money? Like, that would have cost a couple hundred. It's a kid's coffin, right? That would have cost more than a couple hundred, then. Possible suspect in the case. <laughs> if you have any information CC. about this person... Oh, is it? I thought that was Lucas. Oh, my God. She really did do it. We haven't ID'd her yet, but somebody's going to recognize her. Well, then we better find Mona fast. What clue have we got, Toby? Enlighten us. Uh, International Way Bill. Ren. Yeah. When I used to feel like the walls were closing in, I'd take off. This time I stayed for you. Oh, it's kind of cute. You were right. But you still messed up. But Last you... night, trying to break into Dr. Palmer's car. That's as close as I want to get to A. I'll call you. Okay. Thank you. The chemistry, though. To be fair, you just fell asleep at films, not that bad. But should be like, Ezra wouldn't fall asleep at a black and white movie. You're safe here, um. It's not me I'm worried about. It's Mona. Did someone just call him a whore? A bit harsh, wanna know? Don't be. Your parents would have the same rule if I were a guy. If you were a guy, you wouldn't be here. Well, yeah, because you're a lesbian, Paige. Maybe we should. Like you want to know the ending, but you still want to be surprised. Yeah. No, I remember when I was little. I'd always read the last page. That's so bonding. Everyone be bonding. Those two are cute. This is a cute little montage. I imagine just the rest of the episode. I'm just showing them. All. Um. Okay. Well, sick. What? Oh, that felt a bit rushed. All I can think about is poor Mona. Never ever thought. I don't think that's actually Mona. Mona. I think it's a doll. Her. And when I saw Chris Angel do it, the top half of the woman crawled away. It was totally twisted, but it turned out that he just used this woman with sacral agenesis, which is this congenital. Okay, can you just stop talking? <laughs> <about this? sighs> oh, I love Spencer. But all right, Hannah, calm down. The great Charlemagne. He's putting on a show in Ravenswood this afternoon. We are not going back to Ravenswood. That can't be a coincidence. No, no. Spence, you're driving. Oh, we, we're right. Okay, we are actually going to Ravenswood. Toby the detective. Oh, God, that grainy footage. Why are we back here? Just be careful, okay? It's like the camera quality and everything just goes downgrading when. Is Mona with her? Wicked. No. Ezra? Is that Ezra? Yeah, that's Lucas. Lucas is aged so badly, dude. I hate Ravenswood. I hate it. Let's all stick together. It's just shit. Oh my god, I was like, boxes. no. Get, oh yeah. Take her, she loves magic. <laughs> I don't think he's going away. I would punish him in the face. She's obviously gonna die. Yay. <laughs> Just the stock cheering. I'm not. <laughs> Where's Emily? Sick. Look around you. What do you see? Nothing. It's dark. We're gonna find you. I promise. It's not that dark. I hear a saw. Like a chance. That would be jokes if Emily died. It's cutting wood. Like a sawmill. Getting louder. Closer. Wait, 
Grunwald lived on Sawmill Road. Oh my God. It's right here. We're practically on top of it. Oh, I'm actually going to run and chase this time. Wow. Sick. Emily? Emily? I'm here! <laughs> I would cry laughing if she died, dude. It'd just be funny. This is like a sword trap, dude. Imagine the emotional distress these girls have, like, after these past four years or whatever. <laughs> Oh, no one thought of it. There are two of them? CC and Allison. These Spencers are actually chasing them. The Warriors as well, fair play. Here we go. She'll still escape. Yes, Aurea! Oh. There we go. That's the one we knew. Worst Coral. What were you doing? Oh. Let it go, please. Please let it go. Oh, that's a really well designed jacket, isn't it? That's the scene that just happened. Fuck, Arya, this is not your fault. Wait, is she actually did that? She's gonna say there's no one. Wait, you lost the other girl? Please. What happened with you, Spencer? She's gone. God, that bitch has nine lives. No, 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 you lot are just you blind. Something. That's that's what Come just on. happened. Oh I think my! The red coat that I was chasing might have been Ali. That's how he's been watching us. He's monitoring the police. What's this? Yes. Yes. Our alarm systems. That's how he's everywhere. No, but... Alright, so it takes a bit of a while to get to Ravenswood, yeah? Like, let's say about 45 minutes. How is A there all the time, but then they're in person watching them all the time? Well, I still think that all roads lead back to board shorts. I mean, the name of the company is Shabby, and that was Ali's favourite beach in Cape We're actually going to figure something out this episode, because I would actually be stunned. Is that who Cece's working for? Okay, that's creepy. Bear. They're having a celebration tonight, yeah, and Board Shorts thinks that Ali's gonna be there. Allison has to come back this episode. I'm sorry, it's been like we have to find her first. We knew she. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna migraine. I drove to Rosewood. Oh, is this where the hand comes out of the ground? The backyard. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. Not even panicking, it's like, ugh. Oh, that was a bit crampy. Okay. So you're saying that Ali's still alive? Yeah, I thought Why we knew. You all felt it. She was never. Are you not dumb? Really I, I, of course, they're stupid. I forgot that. Trust us. She knows that. Alison has so much explaining sure. to do, by the way. So much. <laughs> Why, why didn't you just go to the police? We're crashing a party. Oh, and sake. Good job. So now it's like we found Cece. That's all. We know Alison's alive. 
But now there's a new A. <laughs> Fuck, man. They're just gonna have the balls to just shout us. Why, man? You can't just make shit up. Why? Why have you done that? You just... Oh, who's the male character we have? Ezra? Yeah, I've been BA. I don't mind. Okay. It, it, it's like the Toby reveal was so iconic and so good. Um, like, him and Mona were the two sick A reveals. Cece was trash. Alison being alive is trash because it's obvious. That was just awful. Like, uh, Ezra. I'm glad they showed it though. I'm glad they just showed it and it wasn't like. It just feels. It's like, like, sorry, like I just said, the. The Toby one was so good and this just feels like a, a weak attempt to try and recreate that. Just like, oh, uh, Ezra. And it's like, he did such a sick job with Toby. And that actually made like for a good story, and you've just ruined it. Um, there'll be some reason as well. Be like, I was doing this to protect you, Arya. Oh my god! So still no Addison. I'm just gonna check quickly if that was the uh, mid-season finale. I don't think it was. I mean. I really thought, I, I really thought Alison was going to come back that episode, like, they see, they felt like they were building up to it the entire episode, and then they just couldn't be asked. Uh, so, oh, to do. yeah, that, I think that was the mid-season finale. Oh, no, yeah, the mid-season finale, then they had the whole Halloween episode that they used to do in October, and then it takes another few months off for episode 14, so, yeah, I guess it's the mid-season finale, but then we also have the... October one. Uh, dude. Okay, we'll start with what I liked, I guess. I think Spencer and Toby were... Even though all these things are just little weak things, not even that good. Spencer and Toby were bad this episode. Um, they were the best they've been in a while. Like, they're actually adorable. I like those two for once. Because they, they've just been... Especially Toby's just been annoying me, like, and boring me for quite a while. So he was fine. Um... But I'm finally glad, like, the Ashley story is done. Like, the charges have been dropped and that's all fine. But again, they just dragged it out way too long. Um, and even even the reason she got let off was just this witness. And it was so easy. Like, that was so easy. And it's just, I don't know, it feels like there'll be no consequences to that. And it's just a bit shit. So, yeah, that, that entire Ashley arc for the past 12 episodes has been one of the worst they've done. Um, I did like the sawmill scene where Emily was trapped in the box and she was about to be chopped in half. That would have been hilarious if that happened, but um, Alison stopped it, I guess, because they were just sat there with bolt cutters, not even thinking, let's turn off the machinery. Let's all stand here. <laughs> um, and then I put A's lair. I, I think that was actually like the best part of the episode, just seeing... The timeline of everything that had happened, um, like all planned out and all, all the stuff that we'd seen in previous episodes, it was just that was kind of cool to see, uh, like A's lair. But we kind of had Mona's lair, which is also cool. But so it, it just feels like this episode was trying to recreate what we've seen before, but it was just a lot worse. Like we had another A reveal, fine. It was Ezra and it was shit. Then we had another look at A's lair. It was good, but it was, wasn't as iconic as, like, Mona's... When they finally found Mona's lair was, because that was just sick. Like, no one's topping that reveal. I'm sorry. So, I'm so done with CC. That bit was shit, where she fell and died. Um, the choreography looked stupid. And then she just got up and left. What? First off, you fell and you about broke your leg. There's no way you're moving. And the fact no one saw her move, like they looked at her, looked away, I said, oh, she's gone. Ah, ah, well, ah, well, we'll just let that one slide. I guess it's Raven's one, so people can just disappear whenever they choose to. It's just, 
Oh god. Um then I put that the Aria Aria and Ezra. Ezra? Ezra was so they, they were so rushed, dude. Um like I said previously, I'm all up for them getting back together, that's fine, but make it feel natural. And it was, and I, I could have done with just a few episodes of them like talking and her kind of starting to notice Jake's flaws and then starting to miss Ezra, like that's kind of where I thought it was going to go anyway. But that all happened within like one episode. She looked at Jake for a second and went, oh, he doesn't like black and white movies. Well, I'm guessing, I'm guess I'm going to Ezra then. And then kissed him in some shitty montage. Well, the montage was fine of them all cuddling and being cute, but then it was like, oh, and Ezra, yeah, they're just kissing now. It was like, okay, well, you could have given that a bit of time. Like, I felt like they did it in a way to have Ezra's reveal at the end be more impactful, but it wasn't impactful anyway, because I don't care. So it's just... It just fell flat, and I like Jake. He's not like the best character or anything, and I think her and Jason would have been a way better relationship. Like that was one of the worst, like opportunities that they passed up on. At least for me, like having Ori and Jason be a thing for a while. Um, yeah, it would have been a bit weird because she's like related to uh, he's related to Spencer and all this, but I don't know. I just felt like her and Jake were good. Like they were fine. They were great last episode, like, the chemistry was smooth, and then she, she tried to watch a movie with him and just went off him and cheated on him. What? <laughs> you know, it just feels a bit rushed. Like, I wish... I don't mind that happening, because I kind of knew it was going to happen anyway, but give it till, like, episode... What episode did it? 12? So give it till, like, episode... I don't know, 15 or something. Jesus. Um, and then I put the CC bit, yeah, that was just stupid. Ra All of Raven's was just stupid, man. Like, what the fuck? Um, it wasn't an awful episode. It was nowhere near as bad as the last episode. Like, there were parts of this episode that were good, like, and interesting. And I think I, it's just one of those where you know they've been holding off on all this stuff till the mid-season. It's just been like, well, wait, wait, oh, okay, mid-season. Like, right, let's go in, let's do it. And it's, it's just, why, man? It wasn't that good to hold off on. So I guess they all know Alison's alive now. But as an audience, we knew that anyway, so it wasn't, like, a huge moment or anything. I don't know. I just... I, just, I don't know if it was, like, you guys... It, whoever was watching this live, like, when it was airing, was it obvious that she was alive before this episode? Because even though I kind of... Well, I know she comes back anyway. It, even if I didn't know that, I would have been like, well, it's obvious. So then being like a huge reveal that, like, oh, she's actually alive. She, she put her hand through the ground. Like, I've said that anyway. <laughs> so I guess it's confirmation that she's alive at the end of the day, but I, she just needs to come back now. I just think if if they hold off on bringing Alison back till the season four finale, oh, I might be mad because that's just stupid. Um, yeah, MVP moment, I'm going to do, like, A's layer, because I thought I liked the layout of the timeline and all that stuff was good. Uh, and then rating... Like I said, I, it, was a, it was a good episode. It was just... Everything that they did felt like stuff we've seen before. Uh, felt way over the top. And I know it's an over-the-top show anyway, but just ridiculously over the top. And it was just nowhere near as impactful as it has been previously. Like, Toby's re Toby and Mona's reveal were way better, and seeing a A's left for the first time was just way better previously. Um, it just... The first half of season four is, for the first time in pre all Eyes history, even though they've had, like, ups and downs throughout the show, to me, it feels like they don't know what they're really doing at this point. Like, this felt like the first time where they were like, okay, we need to drag this out as long as we can. Um, and they've had episodes that have felt like that before, but not an entire, like, half of a season. Like, give Toby a story. Have Ezra's, Ezra's kid not even be his kid. It's just like, what? That, what happened to that? <laughs> uh, I'd, yeah, I'll, I'll give this episode a 7 out of 10, because it was, it was good, it was fine, it was just, meh. But as a half of a season, I'm probably going to go with a 5 out of 10. Um, not season 4 as a whole, because we still have 4B, obviously, but as a first half. I might even go like 4.5 or something, I don't know. I'm kind of very... The more I think about it, the more I'm just disappointed by it. It had it had great parts. Like, Aurea, genuinely a way better character than she's been ever before. Uh, like, th this half of the season was Aria's peak. However, Spencer took a massive dip down. Not like she's boring or bad or anything. 
she was just so good at the end of season three, and now she's just kind of Toby's sidekick, which I wouldn't mind if Toby was interesting, but he hasn't been. Toby's not been interested in his story, was kind of shit. Hannah's just been the sidekick to Ashley's story, which was one of the worst stories Pretty Little Lies has done. So that was shit. Emily's been awful. She had, like, one good episode, I think. Um, but other than that, she's just been her and Paige crying. But I don't ship them both anyway, so I'm never going to care about them too, like, in their little talks. So, yeah. The A stuff has been the worst it's ever been. Mona's been incredible. Every time she was on, in an episode, and you guys on, like, Patreon mainly, like, agree as well, but whenever Mona's on screen, it's just like, thank you. It's just refreshing. It's just like, oh, thank you. Mona's interesting. Like the episode where she was talking Hannah through what to do to confess to the murder and then went and confessed to do it herself. That was sick. Like, that was one of the best moments of the first uh, half of season four. Like, that was unexpected. I liked it. I was wondering where it was going to go, and then and then it just came... Nothing came of it. Like, it was just... There was no point in that. It's, it's just like... You have all the... You have great ideas, but you don't do anything with them. So you look at all these shit ideas, and you're like, all right, we'll drag this out, I guess, because this is, this is a load of shit. We'll just try and spread this out for as long as we can. My God. Um, Ravenswood was stupid. Caleb, Caleb was all right, actually. He had some good um, good emotional scenes. He was kind of cute, looking after Hannah, doing that whole process. Um, I think that's everything. It's just a very... Under, it's the first time it's just felt underwhelmingly... Blech, like, ugh. Like, I know it's hard making it. Well, I don't know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's hard making a show, but I think I could have come up with better storylines for the characters than that. Um, like, really? Like, really cut off? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll go 7 out of 10 for this episode and a 4.5 overall for 4A. But we still have 4B, so that could save season 4 as a whole. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know with all the episode down below and season 4A in general. And I will see you next time for episode 13, which is like the October Halloween special. Um, to segue into 4B, I guess. So yeah, until then, thanks for watching. Peace.